Hello, good afternoon. My name is Jana Paveltrik, and as Dean of the Faculty of English, it's my great pleasure and honor to welcome you all to the fifth edition of Language of Empowerment seminar organized by the Faculty of English at Adam Miskiewicz University, Poznań. As every year, uh, with this seminar, we wish to raise awareness of the dangers of discrimination in its various forms and contribute to the global debate on values such as acceptance, and equality, but also to an understanding of various forms of violence, both explicit and implicit, um, in accordance with the UNESCO proclamation. And now I'd like to quote it. You have the Polish version in front of you. Tolerance is respect, acceptance and appreciation of the rich diversity of our world's cultures and forms of expressions and ways of being human. It is fostered by knowledge, openness, communication, and freedom of thought, conscience, and belief. Tolerance is harmony in difference. It is not only a moral duty. It is also a political and legal requirement. Tolerance, the virtue that makes peace possible, contributes to the replacement of the culture of war by a culture of peace. And that was a quotation from UNESCO's 1995 Declaration of Principles on Tolerance. I'd like to now extend a very warm welcome to our distinguished guests who accepted our invitation to join us for the opening ceremony. I welcome very warmly Ms. Katarzyna Kotula, Polish Minister for Equality and our alumna. Uh, we're so happy to have you with us and thank you for your great contributions already and we so much look forward to hearing your lecture today. I also welcome Professor uh, Krzysztof Skipski, Dean of the Faculty of Polish and uh, Classical Philology. Welcome and thanks for being with us. I welcome my dear colleagues, vice deans of the Faculty of English. Um, all of them are here, most of them are here, or three of them are here, so it's almost the whole team. Uh, yes, and also all colleagues and students of our faculty and also our university, thanks again for um, finding time to share the seminar and the seminar time with us this year. Hello and welcome. So the theme of the seminar, Language of Empowerment, aligns with the values and principles that we follow here at the Faculty of English, tolerance, equality, and diversity, the key among them. And as the Faculty of English, we are committed to openness to the world and to society by accepting responsibility for development of an open, wise, and equal society, and we do it via our research and cooperation outside of academia. We are sensitive to questions of linguistic and cultural identity, protection of minority and endangered languages, and our actions are based on the premise that today's world is multicultural and multilingual. This year, as I already mentioned, uh, we're celebrating the fifth edition uh, of the Language of Empowerment Seminar, and as a way of celebrating it, in a modest way, I'd like to share with you a brief report on what we did and accomplished over these five years. So the idea of the seminar um, came about when I had a meeting with Dr. Rafał Jędrzyk, who is a lucky person on sabbatical this year, so I guess he's not with us. But we talked about you know, what we do and you know, how relevant it is, so how relevant our research, research is to society at large. So we wanted to offer lectures that reveal the power of language and discourse to include people of various backgrounds and different identities, and also to have talks um, showing us how to facilitate a social inclusion and eventually social justice. And at this point, I want to make a mention of the quotation that I really, really like by Ramana uh, Maharashi, an Indian Hindu sage who answers the question, how are we supposed to treat others with there are no others? And the idea of the seminar was also to showcase how our research in academia addresses the questions and problems but outside of academia, obviously, but also offer possible solutions to them. And as seminar organizers, and now I'm speaking on behalf of myself, but also um, Dr. Benjamin Kwaniecki and, and Dr. 
uh, Katarzyna Jankowiak, we are delighted to say that the talks and lectures over these five years revolved around uh, some of the most pressing social issues and problems that we as humans continue to struggle with, both in the local and in the global sense. So over these five years, we have discussed such topics and issues as, among others, LGBT um, plus families in Poland, non-heteronormativity non in Polish culture, the phenomenon and consequences of stereotype threat, narratives and narratives of exclusion and marginal, marginalization in India, sport leadership, equality in business, empowerment of marginalized language communities, language of Ukrainian empowerment, and legal empowerment and human rights. And these are just some examples of the talks. And we also had the pleasure of listening to our faculty student council who presented their initiatives focused on equality and equity. And all of these talks are available online so you can always um, listen in. And, as, uh, and in this year, as always, we have an excellent lineup of uh, speakers and topics. And we are, as I already said, excited and honored to have Ms. Katarzyna Kotula as, uh, as our speaker today with the opening talk. And then Tuesday, tomorrow, as we know, is the presidential election day in the US. So uh, we'll be hosting Professor Mary Ellen Curtin from American University, Washington, DC. And she will talk on the complex history of race, ethnicity, and voting rights and practices in the US since emancipation. On Thursday, another timely talk by almost a doctor, Kasper Wojcikowski from our university. And he will talk on not widely recognized and discussed issue, at least yet, that is challenges of implicit bias in the context of artificial intelligence. And finally, Friday, our speaker is Dr. Ivona Mazur from our faculty, who will in her talk argue that audio description is a tool for accessibility, um, but it does not always equal social inclusion. And she will offer some solutions to the problem. So I truly hope that the lectures this year, as every year, will offer not only a careful examination of problems and issues, but also concrete ways forward as how we can change the world around us for the better. Thank you very much, and I hope you'll find the seminar very interesting and relevant. Thank you.